Hey guys, so recently I, well like this today, we po I posted a video of me unboxing my new Dazo Clay. I hope you can see, this doesn't really matter. Um, you can go check out that video, I'll link it in the description if anyone wants to check me out, oh, check it out of me opening it. So I got two white packs as I said, you can color whatever color you wanted. So the, um, later on, or earlier on today, we op I opened this packet because I wanted to cut a little bit off because Model Magic doesn't work in my slime, I don't know why. And I just mixed a little bit in with slime. It wasn't even, I didn't even have enough Model Magic in the slime, but I just want to see what it combined and it did. Because normally the model, what happens with my Model Magic, it just hardens like a rock straight away. So we're going to be making the slime. So I'm going to be making it purple using red and blue because um, I lost my purple paint and we have just, oh, I just have a cup of activator right here. So I'm just gonna add our paint. So I'm gonna do two drops of red. One, two, and then one drop of blue to make purple. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put these to my assistant <laughs> and mix this together. So this is gonna be a little bit of an unusual purple. Oh, I think we need more blue paint. This might be a little bit of a different purple just because I'm mixing two colors. Oh, it's really pretty. It's like, kind of a weird, actually I think I might need red. Or do I need purple? I need blue, I think. I think we need blue. What? It's a color. Yeah, I might leave it like that, it's kind of lavender. It always gets lighter anyway when you add clay, so you kind of have to make the color a little bit darker than you want it. So we're just gonna sand off a little bit because we wanna... I hope you can see. Okay, so I made my, sl this is the color I'm happy with. And I'm gonna add some activator that I found in my mom's press. Thanks, mom. I'll buy you a new bottle. Oh my god, my arm's so sore from mixing. It's so hot. I'm in a bikini right now, and it's just, it's like 30 degrees out in Ireland right now, which might seem cold in other places, but it's absolutely a heat wave here, and it is roasting. And we. Is it? And we literally have a, and it's lasting for a few days as well. Like it started on Monday and today's th Wednesday and it's going to be last until Saturday. So no, it started on Monday, the day you went, came from school. That was the day. On Monday. Yeah, that was not a heat wave though. That was just hot. This is the week of the heat wave. Anyway, so. We're just chilling in the sun. We even got a pool. It's a blow up pool. It's like, it's not, it's, it's not huge. It's just, it's actually small compared to a pool. It's 10 foot and it holds two feet of water, but it's actually pretty big for a paddling pool. And I'm really happy because oh, we just kind of float on the floaties in it. And like four of us could fit in it. You can fit two adults and three children in it. That's what they said on, that's what it showed on the box. Okay, I might start kneading because my hand is getting super sore. Oh my god. I never actually made purple butter slime before, so this is kind of cool. It's really sticky. So I hope you like the new banner and logo. Comment if you like it, or did you prefer the old one? I prefer this one. It's more like older now because I'm 13, well, like 13.6, 13 and a half. So I guess it suits my age group more. Um, my banner was, my banner was like really, my banner was really like nothing. It was just like a picture of an old phone case, but even, no one even knew what it was. People actually asked me what it was before, but that was for, I said all of them it would be in the Q&A, but they never commented on the, like it was like eight months ago they were like what is your banner picture but i was like just stay tuned for the next q a and i didn't actually do the q a so i put too much activator and this stuff over activates so fast but i hope you can see move it actually you can, it was too over to the side yeah, but they don't, you don't need to move it oh my god it's so sticky we only made a little bit because I don't want to use all my days of clay. I also contacted the seller because I was saying thank you to him. Um, it, I don't know what it is, so I'm just going to call it it. It's actually, 
based in the UK, but they ship from Japan. Even the address said it was from Japan. So that's kind of cool. Only one week to get here from Japan. I didn't even pay for fast shipping that you could pay for. So, um, it's actually so sticky. Don't worry, this video will be edited shorter. We just kind of have to keep filming. There's no pause button on iPhone. But it's okay because on iMovie, I can just put the clips together. Okay, I think we're good. It's kind of still sticky, but a bit of kneading won't hurt. I'm not going to pick up that stuff from the side because it's just going to make it super sticky again. So, Ashton, could you take the bowl, please? <laughs> so... Um, I'm just going to put it on this. This is pretty much clean. Oops. Okay. I'm just going to add a little bit to the fork. This really weird fork that we're mixing with. I just found it in my toy room. My slime room, as I like to call it, because that's literally what's in it. <laughs> That's pretty good now. We got our purple slime. Now we're gonna take our data clay. I swear this is data clay. I just put it in the bag because I really didn't feel like drying up my three euros and I think three something clay. So I'm not gonna be obviously using the whole block on this little piece of slime. So I'm just gonna break it. And this is the softest stuff. And it just, it smells okay. It smells a bit weird. But this bag kind of makes little crumbs of the clay come out, so. And the mixing part is so cool. It just like goes, it looks like porridge, kind of. So, we're just gonna break off a bit. This is my favorite part. So we're just gonna use the back of this. So I'm just gonna cut off like a little square. This stuff actually runs really good. Oh my God, it's like mashed potatoes. Someone already commented on my video of me opening the days of clay to make a video of making slime with it. So this video is out now, so yeah. Oh my God, it's gonna turn lavender color. It's so beautiful. And literally two packs a day of clay, 620 in total, I think 622 or something in total. It was a total cost, no shipping. And it took one week to get here. That is the most best deal you could ever ask for. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. We need more. Oh my god, it's so soft. It doesn't even like spread. It just, it's just so beautiful. This is, I literally think this, I'm dreaming right now. Am I dreaming? No. This is so beautiful. Oh my god, it's getting sticky. So, I actually have another clay called Funny Gummy. I get it in Spain when I go to Spain because my auntie has a house in Spain, so we often go there. Like, not often, but like once a year. And um, I get this clay over there called Funny Gummy. And you can only buy it in Spain. You can't even buy it online. And it's really sad. But it's exactly like Daisy Clay. This is the slime. If This is how the slime feels. Okay. I'm just going to break into the next section. Um, so soft. Oh. I want to make sure I have enough in it because I don't really know when it's enough I guess when it spreads well like I this still feels like kind of not thick this doesn't this it still it feels thick it just doesn't feel as thick as it should maybe because it's sticky a little bit sticky so I might order more clay because it was super good price and really fast shipping and really good customer service like they weren't looking for any details that I tried to order it before and I just left it because it was like asking like personal questions and I just didn't even bother to cash out like before I even got to the checkout kind of part of it they were like asking where I not like I know they asked for the address, but like I wasn't even asked because like do you know the way at the top it says like step one, step two, step three? It's at step three it was address 
and then they were asking me at step one which was um like name they were asking for my address my school address or something like that and a few more like oh my god my data claim stuff oh no they went to the and like my like parents address and everything like that and i was like this is definitely a scam i didn't even know the website i was probably shouldn't have even went on it but it was, when i looked up days of clay cheap for sale that's what came up but obviously i swear i left it i didn't give them any address once i saw that i just immediately left the site i didn't add in any address don't worry Okay, this feels, I think it's ready. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Now, everyone says like it's the most best butter slime you'll feel. And I'm not trying to sound um, mean or anything, but I prefer the funny gummy clay slime. It's way thicker and like smoother. Now, I probably need to add more or something, but I actually love this. I will definitely be buying more of it since I can't buy, buy funny gummy clay online. And the, the color is like a lilac, a really light one. And I'm just gonna make this even. I have to make it even, like, it has to be straight. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need to put this into the bag. Um, sorry, I'm just gonna put it in the bag. Okay, so it's in the bag. I'm just gonna put all the air out because it's just, I need to get the air out. And we're just gonna mix in this last piece. I'm pretty sure I have enough. It kind of feels like blue tack and lotion. I'm not like out of 10, I'd give it an 8.5. I just like, I feel like the ones online, they're way thicker. But guys, comment down below am I meant to add lotion or am I meant to. Wait. Ashwin wants to touch it. Do you add lotion to your slime? Comment down below a perfect recipe for making butter slime. I'm just going to do a swirl that will determine if I have enough clay. The swirl is actually way easier with this though. But it was so bad. It's kind of sticky. That's so satisfying. It spreads really good. It's the best spread, I say, out of all the butter slimes I've made. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this, but I wouldn't be like, oh, like I was super excited when it came because everyone said it's like the best butter slime and that it's the best like feeling you'll ever feel like i felt this before because i made butter slime but not with days of clay with funny gummy clay but like i'm still super impressed and super happy with my purchase and i definitely will be ordering more days of clay it just has a unique texture it doesn't have the same texture as funny gummy but it's similar so <laughs> oh. ashley doesn't have the slime touch every slime sticks to her even if it's yeah, not sticky it always... comment if you know anyone like that they Even just don't... if it's like the non-sticky slimes. Yeah, they just seem to stick to her. Yeah. Okay, so even if it's the most sticky slime, it's just going to come off. Okay, I think I added a little bit. I just added a bit more activator to see what it thickened it up, and it did it. It definitely thickened up the slime. Okay. Okay. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and comment down below uh, a good Dazel Clay slime recipe that you know of. Because it'd be really appreciate I really appreciate it. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys later.